Hey everyone, Obsessive Prepper AZ. Another look into our preps. This is stuff, I, I don't think anybody should run out and go get these right off. And I, you know, some people don't feel comfortable storing it. But uh, like I said, I've got so much preps. What does it hurt for me to go the next step? So uh, in this con um, cabinet here is gowns. And uh, because of the flu season, I mean, bird flu, biological, chemical, God knows what. If, if you're stuck and you need gowns and booties, um, face mask, um, we've got it covered. And, uh, you know, for give or take $150, we went ahead and, and did it. We've got face masks up there, the booties, and then uh, like hats, the gowns. And then uh, I'm going to take you inside and I'm going to show you my other closet of just basic like medical stuff that we've got. So uh, come on inside. Okay, and I'll... we're inside. Uh, just a quick glance of what I've got in my uh, medical cupboard that I've got, or which I call a medical cupboard, but it's my closet, half of it. Um, this is uh, the antibacterial Germex, the uh, hand sanitizers. I carry uh, several bottles of that. Um, alcohol. Hydrogen peroxide. Now, on alcohol, I always buy the 91%. I don't know if you know or are aware that there's two different um, percentages that, that you can buy. Something that's like a 70 and also a 91%. I buy the 91%. Um, hydrogen peroxide, like I said. Now, this is stuff that you're always going to have to pay attention to because it does expire, but it's relatively inexpensive so uh, you know but having to buy it every couple of years and replace it is is relatively inexpensive and to have this is um i have witch hazel um the uh the wintergreen alcohol uh that isn't very much different than the regular alcohol that other than it has a scent to it um we also have an extra nebulizer back there um and then also the uh the little uh Abuter I can't pronounce it, abuterol um, little packages. Now, uh, we have two kids that are very asthmatic. I also uh, have a grandson. Now, the kids, they've gotten older, and they're not so much so. The grandson, he's, uh, he's sports-induced, and so we figured in an SHTF situation, we might as well just have it and keep it all the time. So uh, I've got some Epsom salts back there, bacon soda. You know that if you don't have toothpaste, you can sure use bacon soda. There's a lot of different things that you can use bacon soda. Some more of the uh, hand sanitizer back there. Some Tums. This is all my extra. I've got a medicine cabinet that I hold stuff also. Um, the Dayquil, um, nighttime Nightquil, methylatums, um, Vicks vape, Vapor Rubs. Different things like that, more mentholatum, some oral gel, so in case your teeth hurt. You know, I just picked that up at the dollar store. It works like a charm, you know, instead of spending a lot of money on it. But if you think in an SHT situa SHTF situation um, and your teeth are hurting you, you would want some of that. Um, calamine lotion, the uh, antiseptic back here, the um, first aid antiseptic. Then we've also got the, uh, oh, what is that? That's the iodine. Um, what else do I have in here? Back here in this corner, I've got like, a, like leg wraps, back wraps, heating pads, um, anything that if we've had surgeries and they've given it to us, it's stuck back there or it's in another closet. I don't throw anything away. Um, Epsom salts, some wipes, different gloves. And then my, all my different bandages. And so what I do is I take the bandages and uh, everything's in plastic tubs. I just figure it's better to keep it in plastic tubs. So I've got all sorts of different band-aids. I've also got liquid bandage, uh, excuse me, liquid bandage inside there. Gauze rolls. Then uh, what have I got down here? Elastic bandages. Alcohol prep pads. More gauze. more gauze underneath so this is the uh the actual pads that you would stick on a wound and in there i've got regular gauze and then i've also got this gauze that won't stick to the uh, wound um this is the that two bandage the uh net two bandage oh uh, what else do we got back here and then also that is like a gauze back there but it's that elastic stuff that goes on the outside to keep clean i've got it in a couple different colors um just just a have more band-aids some scar therapy 
just some different things. This is medical kits that have the scissors, the tweezers in it, thermometer. Um, anyways, you know, it's one of those things where, you know, you don't have to store as much. I store a lot just for the sole purpose of, I, I think every year, year and a half or so, I decide I'm going to get hurt. And uh, I've had... Uh, I don't know why. I've just always been accident prone. I had a surgery on my arm. I don't know if you can see it there. There you go. Big old nice scar. Um, there was a trailer on fire. I decided I was going to uh, try to get the lady out and I punched a window and uh, stupid me. I wasn't thinking. And you know, none of us are prepared for uh, uh, a sporadic kind of uh, um, accident like that. It was one of those things where the trailer was ca caught on fire, it was burning so fast, and uh, I, I didn't even think to pull a shoe off. I just punched the window with my hand trying to get, you know, it, it wasn't a good thing. I ended up getting hurt. The woman was fine. Uh, so needless to say, you know, um, I've learned a lot over time. In a in a SHTF situation, I have learned to uh, control yourself, slow down, think about what you're doing. But like I said, I just have a tendency. I dislocated my knee. I have ankle problems, and uh, so we're always uh, needing medical supplies. I think my one of my sons follows the same uh, route as I. He every time I turn around, he's cutting himself with a knife or something. So uh, we always have um, extra like. Um, antibiotics. Uh, he's had staph infection, MRSA. So it's just good to have a lot of extra medical supplies because an SHTF situation, you do not want to get stuck without things that you can have that will clean your wounds and take care of you. Um, clearly, um, you know, in my arm, you know, without a doctor, I couldn't have been, you know, helped myself because I cut some tendons and I had some issues. But uh, I'll show you, we also have a medical um, surgical kit sutures, things like that we also store, but that's not in this closet here. So uh, I'm not going to tag it to this um, video. I'm just showing you pretty much the things that we keep in store um, in the closets. So uh, I'll have to do another video. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, oh, I was going to show you also just that's, this is the stuff that I keep in like, like stock. This is stuff that we get into. So, uh, you know, however, what, whatever works for you, whatever you use, I'm not telling anybody how to do it, just giving you an idea of how we do it. So uh, have a blessed day.